Hi guys, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to manually add a part to um, your project. In previous videos I've showed you how to actually manually create a part and add it to the database so that it's available in multiple projects. However, this video is going to show you how to add a manual part just as a once-off only to the project. So we're actually not modifying the catalog at all. So let's go ahead and um, have a look at this example over here. On my schematics I've used a couple of electro valves and um, I would like to add some manufacturer's data to them. So let's go ahead and go to symbol properties, manufacturer's parts and circuits, and let's look for um, any available manufacturers or any available parts for the manufacturer CPEX. And you can see that I can search, but nothing is going to be there. Okay, so normally what you would do is people would have close everything off, go to the manufacturer's parts manager and add it to the catalog. However, a quick way of adding manufacturer parts is you can right click on the component and then simply go again to its symbol properties. But instead of looking for a manufacturer parts, you can click the button add manually. This will open up the part properties screen and we just fill in some general information over here. Add the manufacturer as well. I like to select it from the list. Less chance of getting any typos. The class will be brakes and electrovalve, so that's already good. Maybe give it a, a article number, so that can be the article number out of the catalog. I just made it up myself. Add a description. And we've got the option to add 3D parts and 2D footprint, connection labels, schematic symbols, etc. to the part as well. Now we don't have to do that, but if we do it already in here, that means that SolidWorks Electrical automatically knows what part it needs to open up. Next, we can fill in the sizes. However, more importantly, what I need to fill in here is my circuits. So we're going to have one circuit, which is a relay coil circuit, so that's good. And what I will do now is I will add two terminals. And that's it. I can simply click on OK now. Now, this option here allows me to add it to the catalog. What happens then is it will add it to the SQL database and will be available in all projects. However, I only want to be able to do it for this component only. So I'm going to select only for this component. And it will only be assigned to that component that we've got over there. If I now click on OK, only that component that I've selected has the manufacturer's data assigned to it. If you do want to move, or if you do want to have multiple of these components and you want to assign it to all the other ones, the option that you've got is you can copy and paste them over and it will automatically copy and paste the manufacturer's data for the CPAX electrical valve as well. Thank you for watching.